Playing for the right to take on top seed Purdue in the Eastern Region will be Texas Southern, champions of the SWAC tournament versus NEC runner-up Fairleigh Dickinson. Texas Southern arrives here despite a sub-500 record on the season after running the table in the SWAC tournament. Fairleigh Dickinson is 19-15 on the season after dropping the NEC title game by one point. Texas Southern was not supposed to be in this spot, but a hot streak in the SWAC tournament now has the Tigers in the play-in round of the NCAA tournament. Texas Southern won just seven games this season, but rattled off three in a row when it mattered most. They upset number one seed Alcorn State in round one, followed by fifth seed Alabama State, before dispatching number two seed Grambling State in the title game. The Tigers came out firing, taking a 22-5 lead in the first half. Grambling State came all the way back before P.J. Henry sealed the win for Texas Southern with 11 points in the game's final six minutes. Henry finished with 19 points, including four from three-point range, to help secure the win. Texas Southern is now 14-20 overall on the season, but is riding a three-game win streak into this matchup. The Tigers are averaging just under 70 points per game on the season, while giving up nearly 72 points per game. The team is shooting 42% from the field overall, and just 28% from three-point range. Defensively, the Tigers are allowing teams to shoot 42% from the field, and 32% from long distance. They are solid on the glass, averaging nearly 38 rebounds per contest. Turnovers can be an issue, however, with Texas Southern owning a minus 0.9 turnover margin. Fairleigh Dickinson gets a chance to redeem its loss in the NEC final to Merrimack thanks to the NCAA transition rule. Despite winning the regular season crown and the tournament title, Merrimack is still barred from postseason play as part of the four-year transition period when a team, team moves up to Division I. As a result, FDU now has a chance in the dance. In the tournament title game, second-seeded FDU fell to top-seed Merrimack thanks to a closing 8-0 run, 67-66. The Knights hit 40% of their three-point attempts in the thrilling loss that featured 14 ties and 11 lead changes. Dimitri Roberts led FDU with 15 points in the hard-fought loss. FDU will seek its 20th win of the season on Wednesday night versus Texas Southern. The team had reeled off three straight wins before falling to Merrimack in the title game. On the season, the Knights are averaging nearly 78 points per game on 46% shooting. They are knocking down 35% of their three-point attempts this season as well. Defensively, FDU are allowing nearly 75 points per game to the opposition, while teams are shooting a rather robust 48% against the Knights. From long range, FDU is allowing teams to shoot 37%. The Knights are a modest rebounding team, averaging just over 34 rebounds per game. The team does its most damage in the passing lanes. FDU has a point four, plus 4.1 turnover margin this season. This will be the first ever meeting between FDU and Texas Southern, and I'm leaning toward the most opportunistic Knights. FDU should thrive against a Texas Southern team that comes in with a negative turnover margin on the season. The Knights love to get into the passing lanes and turn turnovers into easy points. FDU can score in bunches and should thrive in a game that should feature a very fast pace. Additionally, FDU comes in 4-2 ATS in its last six. The Knights are also 5-1 ATS in the last six games in that they were the underdog. Despite its recent streak, Texas Southern is just 7-13 ATS in its last 20. The streak will end here for the Tigers. Give me FDU at plus 2. Total, both teams move at a good pace, with Texas Southern 72nd in the country in pace of play and FDU checking in at 110. That said, I'm leaning toward the under in a game that I think will feature a number of turnovers and sloppy play. Both teams are more inclined to get past the total on their home floors. On the road, which is essentially what this is for both teams, the two have combined to go 13-20 and 20 to the over. Additionally, Texas Southern has now gone under the total in five of its last seven games. Expect both teams to struggle with their shots early on, which will help to keep the scoring down. Give me under 147. Two plays we're going to go with in this game. We're going FDU plus two, and we're going under 147. What say you? Let me know comment section below.